So you own a MacBook M1 or Max and you want SolidWorks to work with Parallel and Windows 11. Well, I finally figured it out. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. I can save my SolidWorks file and even open other SolidWorks file that I transfer over from my Windows computer. Now, before moving on, SolidWorks Electrical seems to be the only part of the software I'm unable to download due to some server connectivity. I've tried to change the directory for the server but it doesn't seem to work. I even trying to change the login information, which was a solution that somebody else proposed. I've tried it and that still doesn't work. So if you're someone that wants this for SolidWorks Electrical, I'm sorry, but this video is just not for you. No need to waste your time. It just didn't work for me. Now, here's the reason why SolidWorks isn't working for you. Parallel serve as a virtual machine within your Mac that allows you to run a secondary operating system. Whether it's Windows, Linux, or even Mac OS, SolidWorks is unable to reference any MacBook file whatsoever. And that is what Parallel is trying to do. Now, although SolidWorks doesn't technically, technically support Windows 11, but Windows 11 isn't the problem. So don't try to find Windows 10 because as you can see, I'm running Windows 11 ARM64 on my M1 Max 32 without any giving issue. Now let's get into the solution. Download and set up Parallel as recommended from the website. After Windows 11 load up, go and download SolidWorks straight from the virtual machine. This is very important. Unzip the SolidWorks file. If it doesn't need to be unzipped, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Just click on your setup to install SolidWorks. The first error that I kept getting was SolidWorks was unable to locate the proper SP folder. That folder should be on your MacBook download. For some reason, SolidWorks create that folder in the Mac drive instead of the local drive, which is where it should be. That folder is called SolidWorks Download, and when you open that folder, you'll see another folder called SolidWorks 2021 SP. Then there's two numbers, mine is 03, but it might be different for you. Take SolidWorks Download folder, which you should have the SolidWorks SP inside of it, drop it straight into your local disk of the virtual machine. Do not put it inside any other folder, just drop it inside your local disk, which I believe is disk C. Even after this step, you're still going to come across another big issue, which is SolidWorks still don't fully understand which machine it should technically install and operate on. So you need to go to parallel setting and go to file sharing and make sure that you have share folder on none and share cloud folder with Windows Uncheck. Then on the Windows side, uncheck access window folder for Mac. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you SolidWorks on M1 Max. You can save and reopen files. However, everything is available on your virtual machine only. It's annoying, I know, I really do, but at least we have SolidWorks working on a Mac. If you don't want to keep moving files back and forth from another computer, you can create a folder within your Windows directory to link to your Google Drive. So if you're working on a part, once it's saved, it goes straight to the cloud, you'll be able to access it on your virtual machine. But do not try to reference your MacBook file because SolidWorks don't like that at all. And every time you try, it's gonna fail. Most likely you're gonna mess something up. So don't just, don't try it. Everything must be done on the C drive inside Parallel. Now, there's one last issue that I encountered after installing SolidWorks. It might not happen for you, but if it did, here's the solution. It was a black screen, and that had to do with memory that Parallel had automatically, which I believe was four gig. That was just too low for SolidWorks, so I had to raise it up to 26 gigabyte. In terms of electrical SolidWorks though, even if you received the error for it, don't worry, everything will work, everything will install perfectly. So once again, once you follow these steps, there's three things that you must remember. Do not turn on file sharing between Parallel and your MacBook. For some reason, SolidWorks just really dislike sharing some type of information, which I get it because technically it's not supposed to be on a Mac OS, right? And second, when you're downloading it, make sure that you're transferring the SP file and the SolidWorks download into your local drive. So do not just take the SP file and transfer it over, but make sure to take the SolidWorks download with the SP file included inside of that folder and transfer it over. And the last thing is, if you need to move something from your MacBook to your Parallel, just check that box that will allow you to do so and then uncheck it when you're done. But do not have SolidWorks working in the background while you're trying to do that because trust me, it's gonna mess it up. Thank you for watching this video. Go make a difference. See you in the next piece.